Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, April 17th, 2021. It's about 9.15 in the morning. My name is uh, Danny Venna. I'm going to be sitting in as host um, for this program, and it is called the Issue New Students YouTube channel. And what we're going to do here, folks, is we're going to uh, build videos um, of the issue new curriculum. I'm going to have the students uh, perform katas and weapons katas, maybe do some chukumite, uh, ippon kumite, uh, go through the basic exercises, do all of the entire syllabus is going to be on this channel. So today's video is to go through um, you know, what, what, what we're going to try to provide here. So I have a list of things. Um, usually when, when we start a class, uh, it starts with a bow in. And from that point, the sensei usually gets the calisthenics um, in the dojo going, get everybody working. And then the uh, basic exercises come. Uh, in most dojos, uh, usually upper body, and then uh, the second portion of the basics will be the lower body. And then kick punch combinations, ippon kumite, ju kumite, empty hand kata, kabuto kata, and questions and answers, and then we bow out. So there's the basic structure of uh, a martial arts class. So what we're looking to do here on this channel is get people to, um, let's say we start with uh, uh, the first kata, say san kata. And we have the students uh, submit the videos and put them up, you know, list your dojo, uh, your sensei, so on and so forth, and uh, introduce yourself. So that now not only can... Um, you have an activity, uh, you know, to do in martial arts, such as this uh, presentation that we're trying to make here. But what what happens now is we're allowing the comments and chats uh, uh, to, to go on. So you'll get some input from other students. You'll get some input from some of the issue new black belts. Uh, and then, of course, um, you know, your friends and family when, when, when they see it because uh, 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 you can share these videos. And then looking at that, uh, let's say over the next three months, we're in April now. So um, May, June, July. Let's write up May, June, and July. Let's say we, we called May Saison month. In other words, let's let's give it a task. Now for 30 days, well, I, well actually May has 31 days, sorry. <laughs> um, for 31 days, the students and the black belts and uh, the cues, the dons, um, everybody gets to highlight things in Saison, whether it's the full kata whether it's uh, one move out of the kata or a punch or a block or a, well, whatever it is, whatever you choose to highlight. Let's say you made a, uh, uh, a, a very short clip of you doing, uh, let's say, the full kata or uh, uh, one movement in, in the, or, or one exchange in the kata. Block, double strike, kick, punch. All right, so... For the month of May, let's say we highlight Saison. June, uh, we'll, we'll highlight uh, Seiyuchin. And then uh, July, we'll do uh, Saison, Seiyuchin, and we'll do Nehanshi. So there's a full quarter of 2021 that we can set some goals here. We can have interaction now in a way that 
we can spread it. We can we can use a common denominator. All our dojos know Seizan, Seiyujin, and Hachi. So out of the empty hand katas, we've already picked uh, the next three months, what the topics will be for those months. Now, this is the beauty of this. Because this is a student channel, and it's for everybody, it's for practitioners worldwide. Doesn't matter where you practice Ishinru, in, in your home, in your dojo, um, it, it doesn't matter. As long as, I mean, everybody has now one of these, okay? So a simple click, do your thing, upload it, boom, it's right on the channel. So we talked about this. My students and I got together and we uh, uh, looked at a way to one, if you look at the introduction to the um, program, it's dedicated to our founder. So this effort that you put on here is going to be dedicated to our founder. We must always remember where we come from in order to know where we're going. So we have to re uh, we we have to continuously uh, celebrate and preserve and protect the. Uh, uh, work of our founder and the first generation students. So and that's all of them, Americans, uh, Okinawans, all the, the, the first generation students that the founder taught. This program is dedicated to the founder and them. That's the, that's the um, uh, focal point. And now from those first generation students, they're grand black belts. The black belts now that, that you know, uh, did a lot of work, okay? Um, they took their sensei's uh, 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 direction and went out into the world and built Ishinru Karate to what it is today with the help of their sensei, of course. So that group of people, our founder, anything you post here, anything that you display here, any question you ask here, uh, this is a wholesome way for us as, as Ishinru Kratika to, one, interact, two, maybe get some answers to questions we may have, and three, as the Ishinru goes, you know, around and everybody sees what, what the comments are, what the videos are, and uh, we, we come up with this um, uh, display of syllabus around the world, from India, from, from Europe, uh, from the United States, Canada, South America, uh, just everywhere. We now have a, um, uh, a way to uh, play around a little bit. Open up the dojos. Uh, let the dojos. And now you can do this. Um, I'm in my dojo. Where I'm standing right now, where I'm sitting, I'm in my dojo. So if I got up, if I move my chair out of the way and I get up and I did say Sankata, we could talk about it. We could have a session. I think that's, that's you know. So for May, for 31 days, we can, um, again, we can do the whole kata and show it. We can take movements out of the kata that we drill. Um, we have so many senseis that can give us the, the um, different aspects of bunkai as you evolve from the basic bunkai and as you start to grow in your karate, uh, the bunkai then, of course, you know, grows within you and you can now use that same movement, you know, with, with variations to it that are, um, uh, very helpful in a street situation. Uh, because, of course, basic movements um, in the dojo when you first are a white belt, the sensei wants to work on mechanics, timing, breathing, and, you know, just so many things. So, uh, but as you get advanced, that bunkai now so starts to evolve into, um, you know, uh, the, again, with this channel, you'll see what I mean. There are so many innovative minds out there. Uh, 
And then we have documentation from senseis like uh, Harold Sensei, uh, where we can pull his videos and, you know, put them on here and show. This is what Harold Sensei showed with, 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 with this bunkai and whatnot. So, again, uh, using the resource is my goal here. Because I can't, I can't come and see you all every day. I want to be able to um, uh, display our karate together and look at, um, I, I, don't, I hate to say variations, but uh, means and methods. Your means and methods and my means and methods of a karateka, even though we've been shown the same exact movement now, Face on stance, step up with your right foot, throw a punch with your left hand. A basic punch. Just step up and throw a punch. Well, when you do that, it, it, it's your interpretation of what your sensei showed you. And then when I do it, it's my interpretation of what my sensei showed me. That I'm supposed to, these are the list of requirements, Danny, that you have to meet to step up with your right foot, and that's got to be heel toe, knees have to be bent, uh, and you have to throw this punch with the most effectiveness, but where it doesn't look like you're doing anything, you know, that you're forcing. It's a natural, just like breathing. So, again, we, we stand to interact, which was what, and, and if you look at my paperwork that my sensei left me when he passed away, and he writes down uh, what he expects of me, one of the things is get out and go to dojos. Put your gi on, get a good sweat going, and work out. Well, what better way to do that now uh, especially with the restrictions that we have about travel. What better way for us to have a handshake, basically, like this? Now, we do it on our radio program. We've been on the radio now since 2012. So, um... That has produced a, uh, a lot of listeners, a lot of interaction. And, you know, that uh, my sensei was known as the voice of karate. So what better way to continue that voice than with a radio program? And today you have a digital, so it, it goes out and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just amazing. So from 2012 to 2021, uh, we've been... You know, on the radio, we've been uh, uh, having featured guests and having them share their journeys and building that database, basically. This now, with, with YouTube, even if I have to pay for it, um, I, want, I want to build a community of practitioners. It has nothing to do with rank or, or gender or nothing. This is an Ishinru student's YouTube channel. If you practice Ishinru or any other martial art, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't have any other problem with, with other martial arts coming into our dojos and asking questions. How do you guys do this? How do you guys do that? Well, you know, whatever. So it is a martial arts program but with the highlight of it's for Ishinru students. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're trying to build a platform for which we can, again, handshake, uh, bow in. Uh, even if, if we have two kumite sessions with some of our black belts here, we can put that up. You guys can watch us fight and say, uh, you know, uh, and, and just be a part of building this curriculum documented uh, and, and looking at the entire syllabus piece by piece, question by question, answer by answer, evolve. Look, if we unite, 
and we evolve together in our uh, practice of application, bunkai, uh, kata, uh, uh, footwork, breathing, uh, balance, focus, chi. Uh, it's, it is, uh, I just turned 62 April 11th. Um, it's, it's, it's been work that has um, inspired me to what's what's in the contest what am i learning um specifically in in each movement and then overall what am i learning what what, what what's the overall picture here <clears throat> you could say speed balance and focus <clears throat> that would be um one of the ways because because again i have that underlined here Sensei's, um, you know, uh, summation of what's required here is speed, balance, and focus. And once you align those three things, anything I put in there now, such as a Seisan stance, a Seijin stance, Nanji stance, uh, Sanchin, all, all, all these different, uh, and that's what, see, that's what we will benefit from here. When the white belt comes here and says Saison, uh do they have anything said here about Saison? Well, now they'll, they'll be able to view these sessions and get a whole month. May 2021, we're going to highlight Saison. So we're going to ask people and um, have them try to contribute their um, specific learning and, and what they learned about Seisan, where it comes from, uh, the movements, the embusen, uh, how it should be applied, what the bunkai means, um, the breathing, uh, the, just all of the components now. We can have all the, the sensei, the cue, the, the, everybody can contribute in a way that now, when, when, when the white belt comes and can highlight a program that says, okay, this is Seisan information, this is uh, Seuchin information, this is Nahanshi information. And now not only coming from one, but coming from many, um, you know, that's the goal. Because, again, I can't come and see you every day. There's so many of you now, I, it, it would... I, I wouldn't live long enough. <laughs> so the, the only way we could actually do this in this way for Sensei um, is to use technology, uh, use the uh, the will for people to want to uh, document their Seisan, their Seyuchin, their Nehanshi, their, um, their Karate. Now imagine if you take some clips of a um, a promotion you have, or uh, some event you have at your dojo, one of the the students' birthday or something. You bring everybody in, and this channel. I'm hoping that in the next two to three years, um, has you on it. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that someday in, in a couple of years, I can go back to the this program, look at this request and say, wow, the people responded. Because I'm going to do the channel. I'm going to follow the format. Um, so even if I'm the only one, <laughs> I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go through uh, my student manuals. I will document everything uh, that I hand the students uh, from the student manuals to their uniforms, um, how they uh, decorate their uniforms, all of the things that my sensei taught me and that when I get a, a white belt that I give them is what will be done here. And it'll take me some time because I won't, I, I won't be able to spend, you know, hours and hours and hours doing it because uh, they do have to work. But 
uh, just like the radio program, I will I will allocate you know my workout time, uh, and instead of just me working out now, I will light up the video, and the video will run. Uh, I won't do anything else but my workout. I won't talk to you. I won't uh, do. It's not a show. It, it it what it is is me working out and me doing what my sensei taught me and how I. Um, do that with my students. That's all it will be. You know, hit the stop button and I'll go on to the next task. Um, but it will be how I run my class. It'll be my class structure for everyone to see. When when Venice Sensei teaches an issue class, this is what he does. This is what I've been taught. This is how I've been taught to run a class. So I want that documented. I want, um, I have all my empty hand katas up. I have all my kabuto katas up. Uh, I have my um, um, ipan kumi days up. Uh, all the, the, and when we do several basics here that come from, everyone knows that we have um, in our student manual, chart one. Chart one is the Ishinru uh, basic exercises, upper body. And um, I, again, w um, how you practice is like what we're doing here, May, June, July, Seisan, Seyuchin, uh, Nianchi. When we do our basics, not only do we do the chart one, which are the 15 basic exercises of Ishiru. In our dojo, we took that list of basic exercises, documented it, and we added one extra to that list. And the, the reason why we did that was for uh, Sensei Nagel. Um, he's our first generation sensei so we took that 15 basic exercises and added one so we do 16 in our dojo on that list uh which i spoke to sloan sensei about and i told him that um you know one of the things that we uh i don't want to say changed but that we added to that list was that 16 basic for sensei nagel then we also have in, in Ed McGrath's dojo, we also have a um, a basic exercise that comes from, um, how do I put this now? The, um, the Marine Corps had a team in Jacksonville, North Carolina that Nagel Sensei and Kate Sensei uh, were the head of. Those were the two senseis there, Nagel and Cates. Out of that team came, you know, <laughs> some of the greatest uh, first generation black belts um, uh, that Nagel and Cates taught from there, such as Namira Sensei, McGrath, Bohan. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. But anyway, out of that group of guys, when they were assembled um, at that location, uh, I guess it's um, Jacksonville, North Carolina, they came up with 10 basic exercises to practice. So that list of 10 basic exercises is a Ed McGrath School of Vision Rue um, set up, and I was told to be very careful about this by uh, Kirkus Sensei when you mentioned these, because this is not from the founder. This is not something that Shimabuku Tatsuo Sensei sent uh, Nagel home with. This was made here in the States. It was made by uh, Mr. McGrath and his team down there. So I want to be clear about that so that there's no ambiguity about what, what these basic exercises are. Because again, that, that 15 
That's the Ishin Ru 15. That's what all, all dojos practice. Upper body. So with the, uh, with the 10 basic exercises that we um, have had in our dojo since forever, um, we teach that to our students. And then that is, when you put all of these 10 basics together, it's what Sensei uh, McGrath called a little mini kihon kata. Because when you do the exercises in succession, there's an embusen, there's a path that you travel. So it was an easy way for us to teach the Seisan stances, the Seiyuchin stances, and the transitioning of those. Transitioning from a Seisan stance to a uh, Seiyuchin stance and how that works. Both, you know, uh, moving in any direction now because it can't only be dictated by what direction. So anyway, with these 10 basic exercises now, and when you put them in succession, they become like a little mini kihon kata. I want to um, uh, display that here. I want people to see that. I don't want those basic exercises to ever be forgotten because not only does it pay homage to the people that came before us, but it is a remnant of that team of people. Because I know and have done together with these basic exercises, Bohan Sensei, Namira Sensei, uh, of course, my Sensei. So there's three men that one we should never forget. Two, we should always know their contribution to this issue. What they did for a living, when they were born, when they died, uh, uh, what rank they were, so on and so forth. They're students. That's what this is for. This is to bring that out. This is to bring out, because you'll, you'll be surprised if you look at our prior radio programs. Some of the Ishinru Sensei, even if they didn't come on the air, made comments so again folks this is a wonderful tool here and we plan to use it to the max because again I can reach you now worldwide so getting back to the structure now now that I've introduced the program it's been um, almost 27 minutes uh, now that I've introduced the uh, Ishinru students YouTube channel to you because that's what it will be called so if you search for it, search for it under the Ishinru Students YouTube channel. Okay. I uh, put some hashtags along with it. Um, so, you know, maybe you'll also see it in your searches. Uh, hopefully the popularity and the, and the traffic will help drive up the um, availability of where it is on the search platform. Um but that's up to you guys. I mean, I can only share it so much because I'm only one person. But once that, you know, uh, once that channel of, of my students helping me spread the, the link, then others will see it that I just, just cannot possibly reach. So um, it does take interaction, just like any karate class. So um, just remember uh, that karate... Uh, begins and ends with a bow. So when you do things, when you submit things, be respectful of the protocol. Be respectful of the nomenclature. Use the uh, proper terms. That also shows the level of commitment as to what you're willing to sacrifice to learn that because that takes time you have great tools today if you put if you typed in ichi ichi it will come back and it will you, you can do research about how to say one ichi ni and i you can type that in and it will come back and you can you can do research on on, on ni 
I mean, that's how uh, serious I want to get this. I want to document Ishinru Karate curriculum, entire syllabus. And we have a lot of work to do because the, the founder, first of all, left us with a platform to follow. In other words, uh, not only did he do the katas and he showed with his black belts and his students how to do this, how to do that, bunkai, all this stuff. So we have a, an excellent platform, an excellent architecture to follow. Look at any one of the, the, the founder's videos. Uh, get to know it, uh, ask your sensei, uh, work on it, put it up here. And don't forget now, just because we're calling May Saison month, doesn't mean that in July you can't post Saison. That's not what we're saying. We're just trying to highlight it for that month. Talk about things about it. Bring it out. Take it off. The, take it out of the toolbox and bring it out. Put it on the deck. That's what we use it for. You know, Saison Kata in, in other uh, practices, in other disciplines, uh, is a black belt Kata. The way we practice it. So we're teaching our new students a very high level of one, I'll start with the mechanics. Two, uh, 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 very well balanced student. You have to be well balanced to do this kata. You to keep your embusen on on track. You can't get lost. The 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 third thing that we learn from this kata is when you do the kata, you have to turn. You have to turn. They, they make you uh, um, go different directions. There's so much to learn in Saison that no matter how many times you post it on this channel, uh, we'll, we'll really never get to the end. <laughs> Not in my lifetime, anyway. I, and, and again, I, I don't think, now I'm no authority, but in my mind, I, I, I don't think there's an end to say so in practicing it I don't know if you can find an end and really I don't know if you can find the beginning because any movement in the kata you can start with in a real fight <laughs> so it doesn't matter um, you know as long as you know the kata it doesn't matter. I mean, yes, of course, we start with the bow and yoy. But, you know, to put boundaries on a, on a kata um, uh, sort of limits it. And I don't see any limit in the kata. I find answers for questions when you're fighting in the kata. But I don't, I can't, I can't really find a limit. Now, we practice this kata on the ground. One of the students uh, at Ed McGrath School of Vision, who happens to be a black belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, his name is Greg Melita. And when you take Saison to the ground, well, a funny thing happens. <laughs> because whether you're standing up or you're fighting on the ground, it's all about uh, inside the karate. It's all about jujitsu. What do you mean it's all about jujitsu? Well, we're inherent jujitsuans because the, the movements in our katas have a base of jujitsu. Wrist coggies, uh, joint manipulation, uh, joint locks. Uh, it's jujitsu. Now, karate is the. Uh, karate is the. Um, the one 
practice that allows for you to learn um, see there's a hard and a soft side to karate you know there's that yin and yang that push and pull so ju I'm not saying that jujitsu is uh, different in any way than karate I just think that karate is an extension of what we do when contact is made between two people or, or multiple attackers, whatever. I just think that the karate um, allows us to practice now a little bit more of a... Um, I want to say a breaking effect in my mind. I want to say that the difference between the jujits and the karate, if there is a difference, is that the karate takes it to uh, <laughs> I want to say a higher level, but a, um, a more devastating approach, for sure. You know, jujitsu, you come at me, I capture the wrist and elbow down to the ground, you go, I put my, you know, little weight on you and I stop you stepping to the side throwing a roundhouse kicking an elbow um, <laughs> all right so uh, it's things like that that we want to talk about and say son that um, um, uh, I, I'm just giving you my view on it just in this first program that um, I don't know I, 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 I don't really put any limits on my content I don't put any boundaries on my cutters. There is no way I can live long enough to have exercised all the variations of Cezanne. We drill them. You know, we'll take uh, block, double strike, kick, punch out, and we'll drill that. Um, but in drilling that, just that exchange, Try it on the ground. If you got it good standing up, try it on the ground. Block, double strike, kick, punch. Try it on the ground. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking you to change anything. I'm not asking you to do anything different. But instead of doing the exercise standing up, do it on the ground. Have your, your partner... You know, throw a punch at you. <laughs> you got to block it. Double strike them, kick them, and punch them. From the ground. So, anyway. Um, I really, 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 really want this program to be about drilling. If you ask me, Sensei, what's the highlight you want from this channel? I want drilling. Taking movements out of our syllabus, whether they're kabuto or this, I, I don't care. Take the movements out, take them out of the toolbox, put them on the deck, and use them. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, you give me my, you give me my sixty-seven, uh, uh, sixty-second birthday present. <laughs> I just turned sixty-two, so you just can all get together now and drill. You just have the material, guys, and it doesn't take more than a five-minute video. If you turn the camera on, did block, double strike, kick, punch. Let's say, I don't know, five times from each side in your video. Or maybe three times from each side with a partner. That's a great drill. I'm sorry. And we've been doing it for years. Yes, it's a it's a it's a highlight here. We happen to love that drill here. So again, um, as for the platform now, let's just talk about the platform. I don't foresee any limits. Like how long you can make a video or what you can put up. 
Um, but it has to be, if there's any rule, it has to be a um, I, I tend to use the word wholesome. We're looking for wholesome uh, data here. We're not looking for data here that mine's better than yours, yours is better than mine, all that stuff. This is not a waving contest. This is a uh, contest of a requirement. It's the Ishinru Students YouTube channel. It's for the students. It's for the students like me to be able to get out to say Sankata and have a sensei like John Bodyshevitz see it. That's what this is for. To get his uh, critiquing of me. He's a first generation student. If anybody knows Ishinru Karate, it's, you know, the ones we have left. Advincula Sensei, Bodyshevitz Sensei. I mean, these people are. Um, our our link to the founder. Use them, guys. Use them. They're there for you. They're on social media. They see what's going on. They manage it. Uh, they comment. They share pictures, the data. Uh, use it. So, what better tool than to see? Um, a body shepherd sensei making comments under my say son. Hey, Venna, you know, <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey, beautiful. That is the, um, the purpose of the channel. To have a student be looked at by an Ishinru sensei and have an Ishinru sensei give some positive feedback about uh, stances, uh, uh, blocks, um, uh, embusen, uh, breathing. Um, uh, application, uh, bunk, I, 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 the list goes on and on and on. So that's what this is. This is now an extension of our radio program with video and interaction is what this is now. Now that we don't have the interaction on the um, uh, uh, radio, what you lack in the radio is um, the video because now you can you can do your curriculum the way you were taught and document it with the dojo name and you know this is this this is that so on and so forth yes 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 and we we've talked about it now i mean um uh, we have a you know i i, I have the number of how many shows I'm up to since 2012, because the, the radio station counts that. Um, and I have a, 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 a documented audience on the radio. So the people that listen to me on radio are loyal listeners. You know, and they're not all issue room, but um, they're loyal listeners and they ask questions and they interact. So uh, that's very positive for that effort, that we keep that effort going, that we have our issue today, and we have our Matt's Martial Arts Talk Show, M-A-T-S, um, uh, you know, Hanchi's Corner with Danny Venom. <laughs> you know, I've had that show now for a while. Um, however, uh, this tool, this video tool now, I, I, I want to... Uh, focus on this. No, no, and and we we've always wanted to do it. Uh, Greg and I always talked about it, but now that this that we have all these restrictions, um, this is a highlight because this is a way for us to have down here in the in the South, in North Carolina, um, senseis like um, uh, Mitch Koblansky and his team um, built a circuit of dojos in North Carolina and, and, and in South Carolina as well. Uh, Tennessee, I've been to, because uh, there's other senseis there as well. So in, in this tri-state area, uh, Koblansky sensei has uh, 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 tied a fiber 
through the dojos and we go around down here. I always get invited by Scott Sensei and uh, Rosenthal Sensei to come along and you know do a workout. Well, we're going to Lexington today. Uh, uh, Lexington today. We're going to uh, uh, New Bern today. We're going to um, uh, uh, Hickory today. You know, we're going to Raleigh. You know, wh- whatever. And uh, since I've been down here in North Carolina, that circuit has introduced me to a lot of Ishinu Karate card that I never knew before. Because I, I, I never really, um, uh, I never lived in North Carolina before. I, I, I had visited, but never lived here. And, and now that I do, the students, I'm getting to know the students that practice down here now. Because it's been quite a while. And... Um, Again, you can only do that so often. Whereas, because that takes traveling, that that's a that is a um, you know that's an effort. You got to get in the car, drive, and get to where you go, and spend the day, and drive home. Whereas this activity, now I love that activity. I love going to visit dojos. That don't that don't ever stop. Um, but this now, this tool, it, it can bring that frequency up a little bit. Now, as we grow this channel, folks. Um, we can bring that uh, frequency up a little bit. Now, again, uh, it, there, are, there are no rules here. It's just wholesome stuff. All we're looking for here is uh, documenting Ishinu Karate and how we practice it and how we apply it. That's it. That's the only requirement. We want to document the syllabus so that the... the um, um, first, we can get everybody looking at it. Second, we can get everybody talking. Third, we can start learning from everybody. Because everybody will be making constructive comments, maybe asking questions. Why do you do it this way? Why do you do it that way? What does this mean? What does that mean? Uh, which is what we try to do on the radio program. And we do a good job. But with the video, the video highlights it because you can see it now. All right. So again, um, the structure of the program is nothing more than for the students, that the students can benefit by looking at us, practice. Um, and again, maybe learn something and get some questions answered that um, uh, they may that, that they may have. And, and even by watching the videos, you come up with questions because of what you're watching, what you're learning. So it's a great tool. And um, Malia Sensei said that, again, even if you made a three-minute video, did a drill, counted out maybe each Nissan, and that's it, upload it. Uh, great tool. So... Um, so no rank restrictions that you, you don't have to be a black belt to post here. You don't have to be, um, you know, there, there's no rank restrictions. There's no criteria for rank. It says students. So issue new students means everybody. Because no matter what rank you are, you're a student. So it's properly named. The, the, the channel, the YouTube channel is properly named. It's for Ishinru students. Now, again, we will uh, certainly yield questions from other uh, uh, disciplines and formats and whatnot. No problem. We want it to be as popular as possible. But with Ishinru as the highlight, as the martial art. And again, in, in direct uh, homage to um, our founder, uh, Shimabuku Tatsuo Sensei, uh, his first generation students and all of their grand black belts, uh, all students, all practitioners, uh, past, present, and future. Uh, this is the program that we're hoping they use, that they come to see when they want issue room uh, material and have the, the black belts interact with them no matter where they are in the world. So um, I'll kick it off where I will, again, take my student manuals down. I'll, I'll show you what I'm working on.
show you how it's given to the uh, students. You know, a little checklist and each workout when you come, I give a little initial, I put the date that that's what we worked on and um, that you have a, a journey documented in writing as to, um, now imagine in five years from now when you're, um, let's say, testing for green belt uh, and you look back at your white belt paperwork, uh, you, you can see what you did that night when you're in the dojo. So it's a, it's a documented um, uh, journey between the student and sensei that says, yes, this is a, the student was here that night. This is what the student was on, and this is what the homework was. Not every student comes to class every day in our, in our structure. Sometimes we see students twice a week, three times a week. It's the um, black belts that work out every day that, um, you know, their class, they come to dojo um, just to work out, just to, to punch the bag, just to uh, do kabuto kata, just to do empty hand kata, whatever, whatever it is. So having them um, know now that May is the, is the Saison month, they'll you know, still be a sign up. Uh, issue your student's YouTube channel, highlight May. Uh, Saison, so you'll know to talk about and, and, and do Saison. So, no limits for rank. Uh, there's no restrictions on rank. There's no restrictions on, um, uh, uh, like, in other words, like, let's say you're a practitioner uh, in a wheelchair. And you would say to yourself, well, oh, they wouldn't want to see me. I'm in a wheelchair. That, that's That's not true. That's not true. We, and I'll post a video where uh, we had a um, a gathering of Ishinru Karate uh, of different lineages in our dojo. And they brought a student that was in a wheelchair. And the student did everything like we did. There was no um, difference when it came to empty and kata, um, uh, fighting, uh, weapons, caught the, the student uh, did everything that they could do in that wheelchair. So there's, there's no restrictions on what you can post here as long as it is a relevant topic to our curriculum and our entire syllabus. That's the only um, thing that we're asking for here, that we want to talk about what we were taught and we want to show it. We want to, you know, there's many senseis. Like if you go to, um, uh, let's say, Sloan Sensei for, uh, uh, for argument. He has a, a YouTube channel where the, all the katas, the, uh, the issue of empty hand katas, the couple of katas, the, he has, like, he has this that we're trying to build here, single, like, you know, broken out into categories, the Seisat, Seyuchi, Nachi, and so on and so forth. So, there's many senseis out there that have the um, the video. So if we wanted to, if I wanted to take a video from that session and I wanted to put it on on here, I could do that. I could create a playlist on this video that when people come to this video, they can click on that. And of course, um, you know, we should always post the videos of the founder, <laughs> you know, first. And then work our way down from those videos um, and get it down to the white belts. So any questions you may have, we can start with building a playlist of the founder, uh, other senseis, uh, other first generation students have uploaded videos and, and, and showed. Um, packing this information on this channel only makes it easier for uh, the library that you can go to the library and get your book that's all we're doing here we're building a library so you can go and get your book on Seisan go and get your book on uh, Seyuchin go and get your book on you know Nahanchi that's what this is they, these these uh, watch what happens now because when people start to talk about uh, intricate moves in the kata, they get, they, they explain things, and they say, you know, when you do this movement, and you, you capture, and you 
pressure and the step and position. They explain things. That's a great resource for everyone to take advantage of. So uh, I look forward to building this channel just like I built the, um, uh, the, the, the loyal listener base um, on the radio program. It took years and years and years to, to, to build. And um, again, I wanted to continue Sensei's um, uh, legacy of Voice of Karate. Because that's what he did. He explained to the audience uh, what judo was. Or what judo is. Uh, what karate is. What Aikido is. Because he had people from different disciplines coming in and doing demonstrations. And, you know, the Manhattan Center and uh, uh, the Garden and all this stuff. So he reached the masses by showing little kids what jujitsu is. Showing little kids what karate is. Showing little kids what... Um, Aikido is and, uh, just judo and uh, just just amazing so that legacy got to continue it was one of one of the things that when I wrote up my um, uh, responsibilities you know interpreting my responsibilities from sensei's writing says you got to do something about it. you have to you have to have left behind, um, you know, a documented, uh, especially for my grandchildren. My grandchildren will be able to, you know, go back to those programs and listen to what their great-grandfather was and know that other people called into the radio program and spoke about him that way. That was very important to me. So, um, my work for the founder is another highlight because everything I come from McGrath, McGrath comes from Nagel, Nagel comes from the founder. So between working for McGrath, Nagel and the founder over the years, that responsibility has had to be um, taken on the way they did it because they, they were, they were, uh, except for the founder, the, 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 the two Marines, uh, McGrath and Nagel, two Marines, and um, you know, we don't have to say, uh, we don't have to go into what was expected. Um, so being um, left that responsibility, I didn't serve in the Marine Corps, but um, I, I watched Sensei the way he did it for a long time, and I don't, when I do my workouts, I'll bet that Sensei's black belts will see that I don't really do anything different than what Sensei McGrath taught. That's a, that's, that's a, um, another thing I'm looking for here, that when the, when Sensei's black belts get on the channel, that they'll, that they'll come on, that they'll be a student of the game and, and come on. This is not about rank here. This is about um, uh, documenting your uh, journey, uh, how you do your interpretation of issue. That's what that's what this is about. This is to show how people practice. So again, I, when Sensei Black Belts see this program, I want them to, to come up in their mind and say, wow. After all these years, Venice still does it just like Sensei McGrath. He hasn't changed a thing. I still have the same structure as, as, as they do. When I went to their dojo, this is the, the activities we did. We bowed in. We got warmed up. We did our calisthenics. Um, once everybody got sweating real good, since they got to jump on our stomachs doing leg lifts, um, we stood up. And we, you know, did what we had to do to get uh, loosened up, stretched, whatever. And then we did our basics, our upper body basics. Nothing different there. Uh, we did our lower body basics. Nothing different there. Any one of Sensei's uh, Black Books won't say 
anything about that because that's exactly the way Sensei did it. Then the kick punch combinations. Uh, Ippon Kumite, one step, you know, again, kick punch combos. Just with the the students have to have to follow Sensei's um, cadence. Because Sensei, you know, each ni san chi. So the, the, while all this has happened, Sensei's called in the cadence. Um, after the Yipan Kumite, then they they fought. They got their their uh, self ready to fight in the class. After the fighting was done, if you had anything left, you had to do empty hand kata. Uh, the advanced students empty hand kata and uh, weapons kata. And then any questions and answers at the end, and then bow out. So what I described there is what I'm going to do. You know, when I when, after I uh, build this first show and uh, share it out there, I'm going to um, do exactly like Sensei did. I'm going to put my gi on. I'm going to do my my bow in. I'm going to get uh, my calisthenics. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to do exactly like Sensei did it. Basics, right down the line. Now, one of the things that we do in kata, empty hand kata and in kabuto kata, is in our dojo, we have a sign that we, where we climb the ladder. And when we climb the ladder, when you get to the top of the ladder, well, well, obviously now <laughs> you've climbed the ladder, you have to come down. So when we say climb the ladder in our kata, what we mean here is we start at Seisan, we go to uh, Sanchin, and then we go Sanchin back to Seisan. That's what we mean by climb the ladder. We do all the empty hand katas going up, and we do all the empty hand katas coming down. In my dojo, I am uh, one of the things that I um, look to improve on and and promote is team kata. So when you have, let's say, two, three, four, five students on the deck, or twenty five students, or whatever. More than one, folks. More than just yourself. <laughs> Team kata is a highlight for me. When I do kata with, with other students, that's a highlight for me. Because now both of us, our hearts are beating. We're doing what Shumabu Kutasu Sensei gave us. And uh, no, that's, that's, that's a highlight for me. So the reason why we do the latter climb the ladder and come down the ladder is because I practice team kata in my dojo. In other words, I, I try to do kata with others on a constant basis so that uh, I want to say it's synchronized. I want to get to a level like the synchronized swimmers. Where they do their movements um, spot on. on time, you know. Now, we, we, uh, uh, are some sensei's going to criticize and say it's choreography? Yes. Yes. At that point, it becomes choreography because it's exact. You're doing exactly what I'm doing at the time I'm doing it. But it's based upon the, the reason why I can um, say this is it's based upon a common. It's Seisa, it's Seyuchin, it's Nihanchi, it's Wansu, it's Chinta. These are volumes. These are volumes of, of katas that, that we have to pull off the shelf. So it's the, the, the Ambu Sen is what it is. The movements are what they are. Um, you know them, I know them, so can we get together now? 
and it sort of come. I, I, that's why I, don't, I hate to call it choreography because that, that's what some will say. Oh, it looks like choreography to me. It looks like they're all doing the same exact thing. And yes, Saison is exact. It, the, the movements have been told to us. They've been taught to us. So it's it, it's um, a set set of waza executed this way and memorized and and uh, practiced this way. So um, I'm going to add something to the um, highlight of this program. That okay, yes, it is for the students. It's your new students uh, YouTube channel. That is the name of it. Um, but if I could ask that when you do your kata in your dojo and you film it, can you get, you know, you and somebody, you and two other people, you and three other people, you know, and keep building that team kata concept that would be um, uh, a highlight for me to see those videos that people are considering. It doesn't happen now. People do Team Kata all the time. <clears throat> but I like um, common practice. Otherwise, I, I don't do a workout where we don't do upper body basics. I don't do a workout where, where we don't do kicks. I don't do a workout where we don't do kick punches. I don't do a workout where we don't do whip punches. I don't do a workout where we don't fight. I don't do a work. I, I don't do a workout without those components. I don't. So if I could get now. The way I broke it down, when we get to empty hand kata, we put a little little line here that says uh, empty hand kata, maybe a slash or a plus sign, team kata. <laughs> it's on mine. I, I on my line. I have the kata. You know, empty hand kata team. Um, Individual and team. Kabro uh, 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 individual and team. You know? Because you have to learn them yourself, and then you have to be able to practice them with a team. So, it's two categories there. Anyway, it would be a great highlight. All right. Make an old man happy. Do your kata. Pick it apart. Take those tools out of the toolbox. Put them on the deck. Also moves out. Let's see. Let's see what you're thinking. And then, based on what information you get back, I am hoping that that produces results for you. Positive results. And remember something. You could see something that I'm doing in my in my workout. If whatever you see helps you, yours, done. If there's no questions, you have to get permission, this or that, use it. This is for students, this, this, this channel. This channel is for, so that the students like us can learn. And, oh, and again, take criticism. Again, I'm going to highlight this. One of the biggest thrills for me will be if any one of the first generation students see the kata and they're commenting on the, on the thing like they did on my other YouTube channels. You, you can't put a value on that. You can't say, oh, that's worth a dollar or ten dollars or a hundred million dollars. You can't put a value on that. Because First of all, the first generation student took the moment to take a look, and then they wrote something about it. Okay. Okay. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Plus, it lets them know how you're practicing. Uh, uh, to these individuals, 
Ishin Rukarate to them now at their age, that they were taught by the founder, is very special to them. Because they see what's going on in the world, and their sensei's not here right now. I mean, he's passed away. So these first generation students are seeing what their sensei uh, you know, the, the the realization of their sensei's dream. So, you know, for them to recognize um, from those humble beginnings in Okinawa, a couple of people, um, you know, trying to get this thing going to 2021, Thank God they're healthy and they're, and they're still with us, these people, because they have, uh, before they close their eyes, they will know that Ishinu Karate came from those very, very humble beginnings to, you know, around the world. Um, and again, this program is dedicated to their, their efforts as to what they did and their black belts did and you know, their black belts and their black belts and so on and so forth. All the instructors that have come from those those very humble beginnings now. Um, and what a great job they've done. That everybody has documented their, their katas. And when my sensei passed away, I asked for the dojos to do some empty hand katas in his honor. And they did it as a team. And it was very touching. So... Um, those are memories you'll never forget, you know, and, and this channel is, is for that. It's, it's to, to show your journey, you know, talk to us on, uh, on a daily basis, you know, so, uh, unity, harmony, camaraderie. Those are the, uh, rules of the program. Unity harmony and camaraderie it's in my orders here when you look at my orders from sensei mcgrath i am to i am to promote unity harmony camaraderie that's what they had brother Bo, namira chapman mcgrath kate nagel and the list goes on and on and on. They had camaraderie. They were brothers in arms, and they had camaraderie. They were united. They had harmony amongst them. So that's what this is. This is an effort to do one of the, you know, some of the requirements in my paperwork. You are to promote. Promote. With me, which means you have to work at it. To promote something, you just don't. <laughs> you have to promote it. You have to work at it every day. You have to do certain things to, to, to build it, to promote it. That's what they did with Ishiru Karate. From those humble beginnings, a couple of people, you know, with this idea of this, of this dream. Look at what it is today. So if you put the effort, sorry, sorry, once you put effort into it, uh, it is what it is, because it's the work. And that's what karate is. If you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to get on the deck with sensei's black belts and have them beat you up, uh, which, which is the way it was in my day, and you keep coming back, um... It's the work. You, you just can't contest the work. No matter what rank you are. You can't. You put years and years and years of, of, of study into something. Um, you can't contest that work. That's why people have degrees. You go to school for a certain period of time and they come away with the, with, with the knowledge and a degree. Well, Karate works the same way. It's called Edward School of Ishinru. We're a school. We teach here. We teach a curriculum 
and an entire syllabus that comes from Okinawa. The designer of it is Shimabuku Tatsuo Sensei. And all lineage is the founder, Shimabuku Tatsuo Sensei, Nagel, McGrath, and now this level where we're where where I'm at. So we have a uh, proper legacy to now uh, put on the video and attach Nagel's videos to the contest. Nagel does the contest on YouTube. So you can put his video up and do say on with him. Imagine that. Imagine doing a, a team kata with Sensei Nagel. A, a team kata with the founder. We have his videos. You can pull up say and do say with the founder and put it on you. Make that video and put it on here. Possible. It's very possible. It's not it's not impossible. Let's put it that way. If you take the effort to bring the founder's video over and you bring your video over, <laughs> how you made? Go. That's uh, that's what I want to do here. And then, of course, the creativeness of the senseis and the students, when they, when they start getting into bunkai and, and application and, and position and breathing and all this stuff, it's it's it just it. I, I start sweating. It 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 brings a sweat to me because I know what my body's going to go through for the next two or three hours in the workout. Suppose you wanted to build a two-minute video of you doing big work. Well, even 30 seconds. Even a 30-second video of you punching the bag, kicking the bag, elbowing the bag, button the bag, whatever. I mean, we can ask questions. Oh, I see your footwork there. That was pretty cool. How did you do that? How did you get from that side to that side? Let me see that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I got that. See? That's what I'm, I'm, I'm excited about because that's what we do on the radio program. We take the simplest movement, um, you know, a punch, a block, and we talk about its components and what it takes to execute that, you know, to be able to hit your target with a block. So are blocks really blocks or are blocks strikes? Are they a combination of both a block strike capture? Okay. So it's things like that that the senseis will get into because <laughs> every um, sensei I see, whether I go visit them or I see them on, on the social media, they're all very, very proficient and creative at um, their approach. So I'm excited about that, you know. Now we are... Um, a hybrid of, uh, let's call, uh, Gojiru and uh, Shonru. So any of those Okinawan um, practitioners that, or, or, or Okinawan uh, karate practitioners of those disciplines want to come on and show us the similarities, let's say, in Pinan Sandan. Um, and... Um, any one of their um, katas. You'll see a lot of movements in our katas that are reminiscent of the uh, teachings of those senseis. So, I would love to see that interaction between, uh, let's say, Ishinru and the similarities in Gojiru. And then the Ishinru and the similarities in Shoryu, um, that would be really interesting. Because they're all, like when you watch my buddy Fijiani Sensei, he's a Shoryu guy. 
Uh, here's a video right now on Facebook where, you know, it's um, somebody grabs you, you get out, elbow, uh, back fist. So, you know, he's got documented uh, DVDs that you can purchase on his website and see the bunk guy and work. So we've done that. We've, we've, we've exchanged the information between, because I, I know Jerry since I'm a kid, uh, probably before teenage years, when my Aunt Anna moved to Hopesville. So um, I know Jerry, but my, my before Karate, I remember when we were choosing, you know, Carbonara and uh, McGrath, those two names, we had no idea who these men were when we were children. But anyway, he's a Shonru guy, and he's um, uh, documented his, his practice on DVD and, and, and on YouTube and whatnot. So, you know, taking these um, bits of information and packing it together so that, uh, one, it's easily accessible, two, it's informative, and three, it's interactive. I'm asking for you to do your uh, basics. Um, maybe do them one at a time. If you made a video of basic number one and then moved on to, let's say you did three and three aside. We moved on to basic number two. You do three and three aside. These videos will be short videos. You can upload them. And then we can comment under them about things that maybe we're learning from it or maybe things that we can give you to enhance it, such as breathing, such as balance, such as posture. You may know the movement, but now, you know, posture is important. Breathing is important. Uh, um, Embusen is important. So, again, constructive criticism. The next thing is, as you uh, continue to contribute to the... the, the um, documentation of what you're doing we get to know one another because i get to see your name uh where you practice who your sensei is see so it brings a, a wealth of information together and makes it easy for us to communicate um and then of course the 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 fact that we're students that we're we're practicing with one another we're visiting each other on a regular basis. You know what I mean? Suppose you were to have a class tonight. And you wanted to put, let's say, five minutes of the class up. There it is. Sensei was talking about something and you wanted to film that and put, put that up and share it with us. There you go. This is a great place, a central place for everybody to come and see that. So, you know, the way I've outlined the architecture, folks, is, um, again, the name of the program is Ishin Ru Students YouTube channel. So, no boundaries there. We're all students. Um, one of the things that we ask for now for May, June, and July is that we call May Saison Month. We call June Seyuchin month, and we call July Nehanchi month. And during those days of those months, we'd like to highlight um, things that happen in those three katas, okay? Three empty hand katas, I'm sorry, okay? So, contribute, um, ask questions. Uh, interact with others. Um, a nice thing that would be uh, um, great for the data is when you uh, ask a question, when you give an answer, um, identify yourself. Hello, my name is Danny Venna. I'm from Ed McGrath School of Vision Room. I have a question about Saison. Ask your question. Hello, Danny. My name is uh, John. I'm from, um, you know, John's Ishinru, John's School of Ishinru. 
um, got an answer to that question. Try to, try to, you know, be friendly, be um, uh, willing to uh, take criticism, willing to give criticism in a constructive way, you know, like a, a, a fellow student would if we were bowed in and, you know, on the deck together. So, all right. So just as a quick recap, we're looking for uh, dojos and students to interact with us here. Um, there is no set schedule. This channel's open. Um, when you're on, you're on. In other words, when you post here, you post here. There's no um, schedule. You're allowed to do anything you want at, at any time you want. I will uh, come up with um, my schedule, what I'm going to put on here. So I'll ask you to do the same. You know, come up with a, with a little schedule of a piece of that you can spend a couple of minutes here. Well, a couple of hours, whatever. Whatever you choose to upload. Okay. So, um, highlight what you do in your dojo. Like, if you could do a workout and film it and forget about the camera, just turn the camera on and go do your business. When you're done, turn the camera off. That's it. You don't have to, to you know, you don't have to get into any explanation or anything. If you just want to film your workout, film it and upload it. However long that is, however many things you do in your workout, just upload it. Again, we're asking for the entire curriculum, the entire syllabus, everything you teach, everything you practice, every everything that Shimabuku Tatsuo Sensei put up there for us. To add all of it. The whole gamut, okay? So, welcome. And the only thing I can say now at this point is welcome to this channel. The Issue of Students uh, YouTube channel. Welcome. We'll see you back here, uh, hopefully on a continuous basis. You know, for real. Look us up. Uh, we'll have a Facebook um, um, link, you know, where, where you can go back and forth. We can put on the Facebook, you can put it on the on the YouTube. Okay, so thank you, folks. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time, especially if you took the time to watch the video to its end because it's almost an hour and a half. Um, but that's my introductory video. That's the platform. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. Um, as I post here, we'll see um, how that comes through. I don't have the best tools for recording and the, the audio and all that stuff. So um, I'll work on that. But as we go, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, um, again, welcome, everybody. Um, uh, let's see what you post. And... Um, Let's see what comes in now over the next couple of months. All right? All right, take care.